welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Uh, I am Alan Billings, of course, and this is our host. Guest host of the night, Jared Marmot. Uh, no surprise to the show. I think you've been on here before. Yes, uh, I believe it would be last week now, right? And you weren't on here last week. You were the camera guy last week. But I made it on to the very yes, end of the you clip. Yes, you made it on to the very end of the clip. I give you credit for that. Thank you. Um, okay, so today we're talking about, obviously, we're going to talk about a little bit of Facebook, you know. Um, we're talking about uh, a couple other things. Uh, the first thing we're going to start off with, a rather long, uh, rather longer topic that could carry on, is uh, AT&T. Uh, AT&T is putting a band, uh, they actually did, they've already have, uh, starting Monday, uh, which, uh, starting this Monday, not the upcoming Monday, but the Monday, the uh, past Monday, uh, the, they put a bandwidth cap on their uh, internet. Uh, so um, it doesn't matter if you have uh, six megabits per second. Uh, they limit you to how many, how much you have per month, how much you're putting out per month. If you're putting out, um, if you do a lot of torrents, this will concern you. Uh, if you go over your monthly limit, uh, they will charge you extra. Uh, I think this is complete crap. There's no reason for them to do this. There's absolutely no reason. Uh, if they, uh, I think this is just another way for them to get money. And I don't know. What, what do you have to say in this? Honestly, I don't do a lot of downloading on my computer, but still, this seems very unfair to the people that do do a lot of downloading. I mean, personally, it won't affect me much, but still, you know, it seems. Um, yeah, well, uh, I mean, yeah, personally, you don't do a lot of downloading. Um, uh, let, let me just read the, uh, let's see. If you are using AT&T, uh, the AT&T new limits are uh, 150 gigabytes for uh, DSL subscribers, 250 gigabytes for Uverse users, uh, and yeah, the, and those are your limits if you're using the Uverse or the DSL. Now, that's a lot. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, 18, you know, for, just for the DSL, I'm using the DSL, 150 gigabytes for the DSL. Uh, I think that's plenty. 150 gigabytes is uh, a lot of space. I mean, I think they're, I think it's not like they're cutting you off at, uh, you know, telling you you can only use one, uh, one gigabit of uh, uh, bandwidth. Um, now, just to bring in a representation of what a bandwidth, you know, what a good size bandwidth is. Uh, if you're using three megabits per second, you're going rather slow. That's for someone who's basically just basically the mail user, uh, not the mail, the uh, the mail e email does you know a little bit emailing, you know just web. Other than that, nothing else. No video uploading, no uh, videos, nothing. Um, and if you're going at like six, you know you're a little more on the torrent range where you could actually upload torrents uh, or download torrents or uh, do videos, do a video uploading. It still takes a long time. Um, if you're going at anywhere faster than that, um, eight, you're on any faster than six uh, gigabits, uh, megabits per second, actually. If I've been saying gigabits, I'm sorry, uh, megabits per second, uh, you are fine. Um, but they are limiting you to six gigabytes, uh, which is actually sick. Uh, they're actually limiting you to so many 150 gigabytes, gigabits for the DSL. So yeah, this kind of sucks. Now is AT&T going to do that stupid thing with their cell phone where they roll over your unused uh, gigabytes to the next uh, cycle? I don't know. Uh, that would actually, I actually should actually call AT&T and actually see that because of, uh, you know, they, I mean, they do that for minutes. So they don't, do they? They do, they do it for minutes on their cell phones, I believe. Still. Yeah, they do that for minutes, but do they do that? You have AT&T, right? No. Oh, you don't. Facts. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, um. You know, I always thought, uh, and yeah, and that would be interesting if they did that, but I doubt it. They'd lose money. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is crap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they have no right to uh, limit you. Uh, it's like if I'm gonna, you know, if they're gonna take away from me, I should just start taking away from them. Like, all right, you want to? I don't want your plan anymore. I want something less. I don't want you guys. I'll move some. Yeah. You know. Well, the question is, where are you going to move to? I Comcast did the same thing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's um, the only thing. When they all start doing that, you're basically yeah. uh, stuck. Comcast did the same thing uh, maybe a year ago. Yeah, something, about a year ago I was reading about it. It's, it did it because they're trying to stop people from torrenting, uh, from doing illegal downloads. So they're trying to 
control people on how much they download. So that means if you were on one of those sites where you get like a uh, music download, they would... They'd, uh... Music downloads, large format downloads. So uh, what if you had like a uh, iTunes account, is that... Uh, different. Different? All right. And they still, like, still iTunes is still downloading, but it's not, uh -huh. but they still consider it. Right. It's not considered a torrent, not unless you're doing it illegally. Uh -huh. iTunes is legal. Yeah. But if you are, but if you go to certain websites where you get free software for free, mm -hmm. uh, that's considered torrenting. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people do it. Uh, they're, they're just trying to limit it. Uh, stop people from doing it so much, you know. Uh, this is a, you know, it's expected, but, you know. Uh, I don't know. But then, it's, but then still, even though, even though if you're not doing illegal stuff with downloading, it's still limiting you at home on what you're going to... You I just, I just feel that it's not really right. I mean, they're, they're limiting everything. Eventually, they're going to start limiting our phones. Yeah. Like, our cell phones, they already limit. But what about our home phones? When are they going to start limiting minutes on that as well? When are they right. going to start saying, oh, yeah, well, oh, they, well, if you think about it, Verizon already re really has with their uh, cell phone slash home phone right. service that they have. Uh, it's a home phone that receives text messages. So it almost acts like a cell phone. Right. Uh, it has the same uh, plan features on it like a regular cell phone, which mm -hmm. I, I think is uh, another thing. I'm not sure crap. so much about that only because, if you noticed, it seems like more and more people are dropping the landlines at their house in favor of a cell phone just to yeah, save money. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I've told my parents forever, just drop the phone, home phone. No one, uh, anyone who calls us on our home phone is just my grandmother. Pretty yeah. soon the only thing you're, you're going to see landlines for are either businesses or like alarm systems in your house or something. Fax machines. Fax machines, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, fax machines. Even though your cell phone, when you call somebody, you get the voicemail on a smartphone, it says yeah. to leave a fax. Really? Well, everything's all, everything's all TTY now. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it's not TTY. My bad. No one uses TTY anymore. VOIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol, which is just the oh, yeah. phone over internet. That's all. That's all that is now. It's uh, uh, it's all done over the internet. Right. Uh, which is also dangerous because then they can monitor your calls more easily. I mean, it's all that, but it's all going to come down to a lot of limiting, which is going to bring them more money. But it's, at the same time, it's crap because it's like right. they're limiting. Hmm. Whatever happened to us having like free country here and now like all these companies trying to limit us on everything. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean it's crap. Um yeah. Okay. I wanna see if we have Yeah, they, uh this this is just going over the same thing. Uh it's, they're saying that they're joining Comcast, like I said, um Comcast did this about a year ago. Uh but they're but they uh when Comcast did it uh, they li they limited it to such a high amount that it was. They said that uh, it was such a high amount that only ninety nine point nine percent of their users reached that download limit. Right. That that they uh, put a band on for Comcast. So it was very rare that that uh, that too many people would actually have a problem with it. Uh, just going over. Yeah, I don't see anything. So basically, with yeah. Their, so basically, with their thing, what they're saying there is, uh, they have such a high that the average user isn't going to notice any well, issues. Well, there's, I, I don't think the average user will. Right. Uh, average user uh, will probably not. Someone, like I said, someone like who does a serious, torrents, serious someone downloader. Does, someone gonna, that does torrents will not notice it unless you do high amounts of torrents, like maybe fifty a day. You know, there are there are people that go to that you, extent. You download fifty torrents a day. You're saying? Yeah. Like 50 different things a day, you know, that's when they're going to start realizing it or, you know, they're going to start getting overage charges. I think it's just crap that they're, uh, they're going to give you an overage charge. Say, oh, well, you went over your limit. Yeah. Okay, now you have to pay us so much so, per megabyte. So it's the same thing. So if you're on like a laptop with a Wi-Fi under your account there downloading a torrent and you're, let's say, out of uh, the area, they're going to charge yeah. you an out of area charge yeah. now? Well, the thing is, is that I don't see, I don't see how this is going to work with some companies such as McDonald's that produces free Wi-Fi. Or Sonic or, or all those well, places. Well, yeah, Sonic um, that produces free Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know if they're going to have a limit, if they're going to be able to get away from that limit. I don't see uh, what's going to happen with that. Do you have like a business plan almost where you get like a, or something like that? Maybe. Or just gonna, I, I, businesses I don't, are just going to stay normal. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, no, something, uh, I really don't think this is right for them to put a band on it. Even though, uh, you know, 125 gigabits is a lot. 125 yeah. gigabits of space. Uh, by the way, gigabits and gigabytes, I really feel that's really the same thing. It's bits and bytes. Uh, it's really the same thing. But a megabit is a normal uh, megabit or megabyte bandwidth size is normal. Uh, a gigabyte, a gigabyte or gigabit of bandwidth is a lot. That's a thousand giga, uh, gigabytes of bandwidth. So that's, I think that's plenty of uh, space for you. The average web page is about uh, one megabit, uh, takes about one megabit of bandwidth. The average web page, uh, if you have a very interactive web page constantly going, um, and especially with video, that's going to take up more space. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go to a uh, quick break and we'll be back in a sec. Folks, why won't we go to the doctor? My uncle called, speech all slurred, complaining his arms numb. He called everyone. He even called my daughter, Tierra, because, you know, she's got a year of nursing. <laughs> everyone thinks he needs to go to the doctor, including me. So he said, well, will you take me? I'm like, I'm on the road. He goes, I'll wait. <laughs> Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love have symptoms of stroke, don't wait. It may be too late. Dial 911. Time loss is brain loss. G morning sunshine. Yeah. Wakey wakey. Text me. Are your parents home later? We can hang. L U V love you. J K. Holla back. Holla back. Holla back. <laughs> Are you with your friends? That's lame. We're in a huge fight right now. X O. Would you dream of something I did? Are you on your way to the mall? Lonely. Nude pics. Send me some. Text me. Hey guys, what is up? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you about Yahoo Beta. Uh, you should try that. It's really faster, easier to use, and also safer too. Yeah. So, um, if you want to try this, I will put the link in the description. And let's take a look. Uh, wait. Oops. Yeah, it's tiny in this right now. So uh, you go to the link. Oops. I'll put the link in the description. Uh. Wait, guys. So, yeah, here's the link, copy, paste, just click try now button right there, I'm sure you have it, if you're not upgraded yet, click on that, try it now, click try it now, then click accept, then load your page. Then it show you the new skin in your Yahoo Mail and it's really fast, easier, safer to use. Yeah, it's better than ever before. Speed, spam protection, unlimited storage and mobile, whatever, yeah. So if you want to know more about it, just can go to futures.mail.com.yahoo.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Click and upgrade your Yahoo Mail and that's really cool. So thanks for watching this video, hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and bye. Oh, and here's my system test. Hey, and welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. Uh, that was a video that I picked in about two minutes, um, so it wasn't very clear. Uh, and I didn't really listen to the audio to realize that it was uh, a kid doing it. Uh, but if, uh, yeah, we're gonna, uh, I'll show you a little bit about it. Uh, if we switch over to cam to camera th one, cool. And this is Yahoo Mail. 
This is the new updated Yahoo Mail. Looks much nicer than the last one. Uh, I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's got tabs. Just got better tabs um, on that. Uh, there's nothing really new about it, except you can link your Facebook to it, and it will tell you all of your uh, friends' contacts on Facebook. You could do this before, uh, but now it's just all integrated in here, and it has a better look overall. Uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, there's not really anything much different about that. We could, yeah. Other than that, I mean, but uh, we could go back camera, and then we'll just. Excuse us while we have production issues. Yeah, Thank we'll you. just continue <laughs> the show there. All right. And we play around on this yeah. for a minute and take a look. I just switched mine over last night yeah. to this. Yeah, I'm just having Jared look at it for a little bit, review the. One thing I like is with the inbox, it tells me how many messages I have in there, whether they're new or yeah, old. Yeah, new or old. I don't like that. Well, yeah. I think we're going to try and change those settings. I mean, I like it only because it's like I keep a couple of things in there because it's like something I, I yeah. want to keep handy because yeah. it's something important coming up, yeah. but we're not right yeah. away. So that let's, keeps me reminding. I, I actually, I hate that. I hate uh, having so many messages in my inbox. I try and keep a minimum of 40. A minimum. In your inbox? In, in uh, yeah. Uh, a max, max. I, I maximum. Delete, I delete stuff as I go. I usually don't keep too much in there. I, so. I try not. I try not to keep. I mean, maximum. But yeah, maximum forty. I, I will not. I, I really try not to. If I do, I just went through, cleaned out my inbox, put everything in folders, Ugh. and now I have four like four messages. I don't. I truly. I really try not to overcrowd the inbox. I mean, I think some people are pack rats at their house. Wait till you see their inboxes. I've my mom has over had over three thousand unread emails. Oh wow! <laughs> and she checks her email oh. all the time, but she ha she has so many unread emails, and it's just like, come on, get rid of them. Yeah, it's like they're not important. The problem is they they either don't check them or they just let them go, and it yeah. just builds up. And then one day I was helping somebody clear out their inbox. It's just like check all, delete. Yeah. And there's you know it's like. Well, yeah, the, yeah the, the, mail, the mail here at the studio is ridiculous. <laughs> right. We but, have so many. But I do like the way the background looks, because the other one was getting a little stale for my yeah. taste, even though, you know, I rarely check my email with my, yeah. with my smartphone now. I'm rarely on the computer. Yeah. But still, you know, it's like, yeah. I mean, I'm always on this thing. It's a nice device, it's, and I have uh, actually cellular with that. I have cellular, cellular internet. Mm. So this way I can access the internet. I get uh, 100 megabits free right. a month. So that's nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, going back on the topic of Yahoo Mail, um, I mean, it's slick. It's better. I actually like the design better. The old design was more of a Windows kind of looking design that was looked really cool. With this, it's a purple background design, uh, which I'm sure you could change color. I'm sure you could change the theme. Uh, that's great. I mean. Who wouldn't like that? And it tells you, like Jared said, it uh, tells you the mail, uh, how much mail you are using, how much mail you, you uh, have in your inbox. Also, the uh, new one actually had, uh, the new beta version also has unlimited email, uh, lim unlimited amount in your inbox, um, which is, uh, I think Yahoo's always had, actually. I think Yahoo Mail has always had unlimited mail, unlimited space in your inbox. I believe so. If not, they've had it for a long time. I believe so. I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't have that much mail that I'm going to uh, use it all up. I mean, right now, I only have, I'm using, I don't know, what, 6% in my Google Mail? 6%. And that's, I get like, I don't know, maybe three or four gigs with that for mail size. Maybe even, I don't know, I don't know what I get for. It seems a little more user friendly too, because it's like, you know, sometimes I'll, like a, when you first click in and it'll show like the news articles yeah. of the day and something catches your eye just as you click uh, inbox. Yeah. Well now, right up over here, you just, right next to inbox, you go, what's new? It brings up the uh, yeah. main page, news articles. Well, that's the thing, it did that before, but a lot of people didn't really well, pay attention to well, it. Well, no, I know it brought it up on the old one, but yeah. I could never figure out how to get back there unless yeah. I went back to, like, back through yeah, it or something. Yeah, the tabs are a lot more user friendly. I, yeah. I just like it in general better. Uh, I like the pop-ups better. Pop-ups are less annoying. Yeah. Um, and not the, not, pay, not website pop-ups, but uh, messenger pop-ups. Uh, when it pops up with Yahoo Messenger, someone's contacting you, it'll pop up. Uh, but it's a little less annoying. All right. I know what I and it doesn't open up in a tab. It opens up in your current your current mail tab that you have open. And you can always open it in a separate tab. Yeah, I noticed when I signed up on uh, where you reloaded it for the new thing here. Uh, yeah. You know, it's signing out of uh, Messenger there. Yeah. 
Now you get... Well, yeah. Messenger, yeah, they had that in the last version, yeah. too. The last um, mail upgrade, uh, they had the Messenger on there. Uh, again, I don't have too many people on Messenger that in Yahoo Messenger, which I really think is why they really wanted to go to Facebook. Right. Um, but I really don't... All these people, all everywhere, are trying to link everything to Facebook. Yeah. And I think I, I don't think they're going in the right path about that. Uh, linking everything to Facebook, there was TweetDeck. TweetDeck came out, and they're like, link your Facebook to it. Uh, AOL Messenger, when AOL did their spoof, and they did their thing on saying, well, not spoof, but they did their thing, and they said, come and uh, put, uh, you can put your Facebook. You use your Facebook as a messenger on AOL uh, Messenger. I don't see it. I don't see, even though they could bring all these things together, what's the point when you're not going to use everything? If I'm going to use TweetDeck, I'm going to use TweetDeck. Why do I want to be logged in Yahoo Messenger five times? Right. There, there's no reason for it. It's kind of like the uh, YouTube. Now you got to log into your uh, Gmail account to use YouTube on certain things and downloads. Well, that's just no. But that's, just, that's not the same. Well, I'm, I'm just saying it's like it's like yeah. yeah well, something like that. Why would you want to log in like th thirty different things all for the same exact thing? Yeah, I, I see where you're going with it, but the difference is that with what I'm saying is with if you sign in AOL with your Facebook, yeah. you're signing into Facebook with your Facebook. You're signing into TweetDeck with your Facebook. Ooh. It's going to alert you on every single one of them every time you get a <laughs> oh. message. I, I believe it's happened to me. And it's going to alert you every single time you get a message. And it's going to say, hey, wow. you got a message for so and so. so you're I know, a, I've already checked. You're going to have an office space moment. You got three yeah. different people telling you all the exact same yeah. thing at the same time. And that's where uh, push notifications comes in and the things just don't update themselves. Right. Uh, that say, oh, yeah, well, I'm logged into Facebook. Okay, so it won't do that. So it won't. So my tweet deck won't pick up my Facebook friends. So, yeah, it's like my uh, my phone here. It's like I'll get a message on Facebook. I'll get the Facebook message. Yep. I'll get the email message, and I'll get some other message well, that I, brings yeah, it I up. Turned, I turned off the email message. Yeah. Go, in, go in your uh, notification, just turn it off. Yeah. Just turn it off for the email. It, it's more of a pain. Um, yeah, it comes up on my iPod. My iPod actually has a push notification, but it doesn't have a constant refresh. Yeah. So what will happen is I will get the fact that Oh, you just got a new notification from some, uh, from Stan. That's great, but I just checked that on Facebook. Why do I need to check it on my iPod? There's right. no reason. You know, it didn't it didn't update itself until I clicked the app and it's like, oh, it's not there no more. Or how about or first th or first thing in the morning, you turn your phone back on, all of a sudden you have like 30 messages on your email, and it's all because you you did a post on Facebook, and then somebody down the line just keeps going, people add on, and next thing you know, you got like 30. That's things. only you, Jared. You're a popular guy. Yes, I am. I've only gotten, I've been in, I've, I've, I've participated. Yeah, let's say this, <laughs> I've participated in those, in those like mile long oh. chats, statuses, mile long status chats. Participated in them, but I don't think a mine has ever yeah. begun. The only thing I don't like though is when you when you post like a picture or something, and then two people start chatting back and forth yeah. on it to each yeah. other. And it's like it's just like you know, yeah, you just ignore it after a while. Yeah, it's like it's like kind of move that over to like either a post on your Facebook or to like the chat on there. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I've been I've been guilty of doing that, but you know, uh, status. Just uh, whenever some people rate back and forth on their statuses, and then you just read everything, and then you're like, how do you know? Yeah. I'm like. You posted it on your wall. You know, you, you know the one thing I, I find uh, funny is like sometimes you'll misread something, you'll get a message, yep. and they'll say, this post person posted on your picture, and it's somebody else's picture, but mm -hmm. you were tagged in it. Mm -hmm. So you're like, why are they sending me this here? Yeah. I once replied to somebody's post, like, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah. oh, they're not talking to me. They're talking to the other person on the picture. It's like one of those <laughs> went yeah. right over me. Yeah. Um, okay, we're going to go to a quick break, and we'll be back in a sec. Yeah, we're not really going to a break. Sure. No. So, we're still. Um, and then I'm just going to come back in. And then uh, I'm just going to come back in. I'm just going to be like, okay. Uh, you know, now we're talking about uh, YouTube on demand. YouTube. What's up with the YouTube on demand? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about Facebook comments. <laughs> huh? Okay. Um, hello, and welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. Um, we are right now talking about YouTube On Demand. Uh, what YouTube On Demand is, is actually it doesn't exist yet. Um, I mean, for uh, I suppose it does for some shows. 
Uh, you, you, you can actually go on uh, YouTube right now. You could look up the uh, older Star Trek episodes, the original series. You can see all of those on YouTube, the full episodes. Uh, what uh, YouTube, I, what I've read, YouTube is going into the on-demand uh, on uh, field just like uh, Hulu and Netflix. They want to start doing movie rentals and all that other stuff, but they don't want to do the movie rentals. They want to do it all online, which actually I do agree with because, you know, I'm sick of going to Netflix and saying, hey, I want to watch this. Oh, by the way, it's not available on the Internet. You have to wait for the DVD. Yes, it's a very fast DVD. It comes in one day shipping. Um, it's extremely fast. I, I put my thing in, they send me an email, we got it, next day I get my next video. Extremely fast. But I have to say, when I'm in a mood to watch a drama, I'm not gonna be in that same mood for 24 hours to wait for a DVD to come in. Uh, so uh, this YouTube on man actually may uh, be a huge hit and might ruin uh, Hulu and uh, Netflix. I doubt it. It might hurt them a little bit, but it's not going to uh, completely sabotage them uh, unless, Google, uh, unless YouTube does it right. Again, um, Google and YouTube are working together, so it actually may be a very powerful uh, company, when you, a very powerful par, uh, part of YouTube. Now, uh, if YouTube's going to start charging for this, I don't know the whole mm -hmm. details in that. I don't know if you, uh, you're just gonna be like, okay, well now you gotta, now you have to have an account with us. I, I don't know how that's gonna work out. If they're gonna let you do it for free and they're gonna increase their advertisements. Um, again, Google has plenty of money to do this in the first place without that. But, um, and they might even limit you. Say, and say, you, well, you can, uh, as long as you're a YouTube member, you can watch five movies a day or you could watch two or one movie a day. Uh, but you cannot watch any more than that. Otherwise, you have to subscribe. Otherwise, you have to uh, become uh, a member and pay. So, uh, might hurt your wallet, especially if you're using, if you're paying for Hulu Plus and uh, Netflix and YouTube and everything else. Uh, that's all that other video. Uh, this is uh, also why um, I figured I mentioned this. Why? Um, a lot of people just watch videos that home, basically, home movies, uh, basically, not even just home movies, shows like this, that are just done on public access. A lot of people watch them on the public access shows because you can watch them for free. They're free shows. Um, and there's other shows that people make up online, podcasts and stuff like that. People are listening to that stuff because it's free. It's free to listen to. To download it might cost them money. They might be like, oh, well, to download it, it's $2. For me, uh, for most podcasts, for our podcast, you know, I, mean, I don't think I, we have it. Well, no, we don't have a download thing. You could torrent it off YouTube or just steal it off of YouTube, all our shows. But, I mean, I think that's a lot, uh, reason a lot more people are turning to watching, listening to podcasts. It's a lot more, um, podcasts are more news-oriented, more, uh, I don't know, what would you call a podcast? It's like a radio show on, online. Yeah, they're more news-oriented, more uh, educational. Uh than uh, any, I don't know, I can't say it'd, any it'd like, TV show. It'd be like the say. two of us, but there'd be no video. And so, you know, yeah. we'd be talking, just going back and forth about this. Yeah. I, was, I was actually just talking to my friend the other day about doing a podcast here. Uh, I think it'd be interesting. Set it up in the back room, start doing a podcast. Yeah, that'd be a cool idea. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea. Um, you know, so you get those people that are a little camera shy, they don't want to be on TV, but they can still, uh, you know, still want to get a message out somehow. Yeah, as long uh, I, uh, I asked um, Kurt about it. He said, uh, go ahead, and all we got to do is we can do a podcast and no video, but all we have to do is have some sort of image on the screen. Right. So this way it goes, uh, little lips moving or something like that. Right. You know? Um, or just do a blooper reel of the two of us doing <laughs> stupid crap. Just yes. a little video and then uh, have the have audio over it. I mean, yeah, uh, I could do all of that. Um, no, I mean, I think uh, this will be a big hit if YouTube does it, if YouTube does it correctly. I have no doubt that they will, not that they're paired with Google. Uh, and I think it's, I think it will be a big hit. I mean, again, you can go on YouTube right now and you can watch... Uh, any of the original series of Star Trek, and I know they have a couple other videos on there. Nothing new. Uh, another thing that's in the news about that is that they that YouTube wants to actually have them instantly. So as soon as they're available for the uh, available for the DVD, they're available for you. 
mm-hmm. meaning that Google, uh, meaning that YouTube will get them before the DVD is out, and then they'll just allow you to use them once uh, the DVD is out in stores. Unlike Netflix, where you have to wait like 20 days, 30 days, whatever it is. Now, how do you and, think this is going to affect the uh, on-demand with your cable or satellite company? Because they seem to get stuff pretty fast now too. Like, if you notice, some... you, yeah, they get stuff pretty fast, but yet you still wait for them. Yeah. I'm trying to think, you know, because it's on some it things. It might on, affect them. On some things, you know, I've seen commercials where they uh, promote that. It all depends on if YouTube is charging, how right. much they're charging, and if they, if they, if they, even if they are going to charge, or even if they're going to do sample videos where they tell you you can do so many free videos, right. or you could watch so many free videos. See, a day. I'm a value person, which means free is my favorite number. So if I have to pay to watch a movie, you know, online or something like that, I'll be like, maybe I'm not that interested in watching it. Yeah. That's my personal opinion on stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I think if uh, YouTube does do, I think that'd be a great idea if anyone from YouTube watches uh, is watching. I think that'd be a great idea for you guys to do a free, uh, one free video, two free videos a day of anything, of any video. And, and then after that, you can't do it, otherwise you have to subscribe. But I mean, two videos a day, I think maybe, that'd be fine. Maybe they should do something like buy hour wise so if you like when you watch two movies which is the equivalent of like maybe three hours four hours yeah. or you can watch like let's see like f- four or five uh, half hour videos mm-hmm. and take up the same amount well, I'm of time thinking just, i'm thinking just you put in your time you say your eastern right. time so and then at 12 o'clock so it's almost midnight, like punching a time card on yeah, what you're watching at 12 o'clock midnight all of a sudden it resets right you know, I, I don't, they won't do rollover, rollover minutes. That's they, what you need they won't with this. Do rollover. No, <laughs> they won't do rollover hours. Uh, they will not. They won't do, be like, oh, well, you didn't watch shows for, you didn't use YouTube uh, video for an for, entire year. Oh, well, we're going to roll over all, you know. They, if they do, they're going to put a limit on it. And they're going to be like, you can only have like wow. four rollover shows, you know. They right. won't be like, oh, you didn't use for a year. Oh, you have a thousand free shows. <laughs> you are set for life. You are set for life. Uh, it, this is going to be a problem with people that like series uh, shows, um, you know, anything uh, that does a series. That's going to be a problem because, you know, I like to watch series shows and you watch, like to watch them over and over and over again because it's fun because then you go, they're, they're going to, they give you a little suspense at the end of the, the end of the series and then you just go and you watch the next one. That's the way there's no more suspension. You don't have to wait uh, a, uh, a couple months to wait for the next uh, season to pop up. Um, but yeah, that will be a problem for people that have seasons. You you know, you only be able to watch two episodes a day. You know, that would be an issue if well, they that, if they decide. Well, to do that. that'll give them time to go outside and enjoy the nice weather yep. we're having right now. <laughs> yeah, I do agree. Yes. Um, I uh, would say that wraps up all our time for today, and uh, we will see you next week or uh, yeah next week and with um, something Google or something. Uh, see you next time. Check us out on YouTube or... Uh, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, actually, I'm going to uh, start putting uh, logos at the bottom of the screen as well uh, for uh, that we're on YouTube, Facebook, and all that. Um, and, you know, <laughs> of course, you can always view our videos on YouTube. I usually upload them a day later or whatever. But, yeah. Or even... Is it even on the uh, PA website? Google. Nope. No, no, no. no, no. All right. No. Well, okay. Well, we'll see you next week. Later. Take care. Thank you.